Well, hello there. I'm Kim Berry, editor of Food and Drink Business. Uh, as you can see, there's uh, no ocean vistas today. Instead, we're in my kitchen. The reason for that is we're going to start a little bit differently this week. We want to give a shout out to Joanne Howarth and her company Planet Protector Packaging. Yesterday it was announced that Joanne has been awarded the South Asia Oceana Laureate in the Cartier's Women Initiative Awards. She's the first Australian to win the award uh, since they began in 2006. She uh, will, has won a scholarship to France as well as a US $100,000 um, uh, check. So Joanne is on a quest. She wants to remove polystyrene from the supply chain and she is well on the way. So far, her company, Planet Protector Packaging, has removed about 5.2 million polystyrene uh, packaging packets uh, from landfill. She's doing that using uh, waste sheep's wool. This is an example of her package. This is why we're here, because I didn't want to carry a box around my local neighborhood. Uh, this was a delivery that I got uh, of um, some uh, refrigerated product. It comes in obviously just a, quite a nondescript cardboard box, but this is the packaging. You can see that's the waste wool on the inside. This outside packaging is also completely um, recyclable. Nothing in her packaging goes to landfill. Uh, everything is either compostable or recyclable or reusable. Her lobster pack won the um, 2020 Gold Peter Award and this Cartier uh, Award is just sensational. We're so thrilled for her and for the company. She says the $100,000 is going to go towards opening a new plant in Tasmania. And uh, it, it's just so exciting to see um, where she's going to go. Katia set up the awards to recognise and support entrepreneurial women who are working to create sustainable businesses. So that's my props for today. <laughs> In other news, Lion is still reeling from the ransomware attack that it experienced last week. Uh, a lot of uh, their breweries are still offline and their dairy and drinks business is uh, still suffering as well. The company is doing obviously everything it can to get back online as quickly as it can, um, but it, what an ongoing nightmare for them. This week I had a great chat with the chair of SPC, Hussein Rafay. Uh, he is indefatigable, I would have to um, put it down to. The company has just announced a joint venture with Dola. The plan is to uh, increase its capabilities and capacity in its ingredients business. He's absolutely driven to see SPC become a global player in the food space. And uh, it's, they've had, it's a, almost a year to date since his joint venture bought the company from Coca-Cola Amatol. Uh, they've sold off the Kyabram facility. They've made a couple of acquisitions. They recently bought uh, the pomegranate business, Pom Life, uh, and the chair uh, and the CEO Robert Giles also told us that there are a number of acquisitions in the pipeline for the next twelve months. So another really exciting space to see SPC move from that uh, real heritage-driven um, uh, culture to a, a, that really sort of ambitious looking forward, taking on the world. And another joint venture is between uh, the global leader in creating sustainable wine kegs, One Circle, and the Australian company Vinpac International. The partnership will see Vinpac uh, improve the supply chain for One Circle in, so in Southern and Western Australia. One Circle's technology is really interesting. Um, the, the wine keg, um, it, basically it's a sustainable product. It's completely driven on a circular economy. So every part of it does get reused or recycled. And the bag in keg technology um, helps prevent oxidization, but then is also meeting all of those sustainability goals as well. So plenty of news around at the moment. Please head to the website, www.foodanddrinkbusiness.com.au. Uh, 
uh, don't forget to sign up for our twice weekly e-newsletters, which are packed with all the latest uh, stories and new products and new equipment. And with that, I'm Kim Berry, over and out.